Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this short video, I will be talking about digital signing using private key. Uh, digital signature uses the sender's private key to encrypt the hash. So we'll be computing the hash and encrypting that hash using the private key. We'll be using Bouncy Castle APIs, SHA-256 Digest class, as well as the PSS signer class to create a digital signature from the hash. This can be used to provide authenticity since the encrypted hash is, can only be produced by the holder of the private key. Uh, so it is a means to verify that the hash has indeed come from the person who holds the private key. Hence the name uh, digital signature. So let's get started. So again, I have created the certificate and the private key and the public key. Uh, if you have not seen my previous tutorials, please do that because that will allow you to create the certificates and the key as well, which are absolutely vital to this uh, video. So uh, yeah, the, we need this. Uh, we just need the private key file. But I mean, as I said, you will need to watch the previous videos in order to generate them. So for this video, I have created this sample, uh, this user interface, which allows you to generate signatures. So, okay. So what we need for the, what this UI needs is the private key file, the PEM file, as well as the input string, which you can type in. And it will, uh, uh, if you click on the generate signature button, it will generate the signature and show it in that uh, output. A box there on the screen so it should be simple to follow here from here and okay so let me browse the file I'll select the private key so once I've selected the private key I'll type in some text here so let me type in this is a dummy text for YouTube video and I'll hit the generate signature button so once I've clicked that okay so now what it has done behind the scenes is we have computed the hash of that string and then we have encrypted that hash using the private key. So using the PSS signer uh, bouncy castle class. And as you can see, the signature will change uh, each time you press that button because we are encrypting the hash here. Please remember that we are, this is not the hash itself. This is the encryption of the hash is what is called as a digital signature. So let's look at the code here. It's a very simple code and should not be that difficult at all now if you have followed my previous tutorials. So here it is uh, a method uh, which just takes a private key file. We read the key out of that uh, private key file and then we use the SHA 256 digest class to compute the hash. So once we have the hash here, then we use the signer class just to encrypt encrypt that hash and once that signature is computed it is returned back to the ui which shows up in the output box there well i hope like you like this simple uh, and small video this should be enough to get you started and uh, you can download the sample project file thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>